today, me, Li Gui, and his supervisor, we had dinner together. His supervisor, he got his PhD in the U.S. He's really open-minded. He's really kind, really philosophical man. He's uh, he's a genius man, but because he's too smart, he's too intel intelligent that uh, he's too introvert. Like he doesn't really talk to people, but when he talks, he talks like. Because he really feels comfortable. Like today, I felt like he really felt comfortable with me. He suddenly started to talk about philosophical stuff, and like he really talked nonstop. And I really enjoyed uh, him. Like I really enjoyed listening him, listening to him. And he told me that, yeah, we started to talk about religions and um, some philosophical stuff, some existential questions. Then he. Talked about sins, and he t told me that the biggest sin that we do every day, almost every day, and almost each person, each entity, be it country or people or community or society. We almost each day deceive, betray ourselves. People betray themselves. People lie to themselves. People deceive themselves by telling themselves things that they themselves are not convinced. Countries, they betray themselves. Then the whole collective the whole, first the community and the whole collective slowly believe in their own lies, believe in their own deception and keep living with this own deceptive lives, like ideas. And so he told me that He told me that the biggest sin in the world is we deceiving ourselves because we are not brave enough, we are not courageous enough to admit that the thing that we lie ourselves to is not for us because we are not courageous enough, we are not brave enough to accept that we are lying to ourselves. Like sometimes, uh, sometimes I feel really sad, sometimes I'm really upset. But then I pretend like I'm happy. I just betray myself, betray my body. I'm just forcing my muscles to look happy. I'm just betraying my body. Like this is so crazy. Like. Why would one betray their body? They, they, it gives so much stress actually, so much uh, pressure to their body when you, uh, when you act the opposite of what you feel. It is actually a, a stressful situation for the body, like logically. But some people say that when you fake it, you make it. I don't know. Like they say, when you fake it being happy, then you be happy. But I don't know. Like I just feel like, why do? We, like why don't we? Why don't we just be honest? If we are sad, why don't we just be sad? If we are angry, why don't we just let it be angry? Like why don't we accept the fact instead of trying to change it? being deception, deceptive to ourselves, our body, our feelings. We betray our feelings, we betray our body. And then I tell the professor, 
I was eating my dinner so happily. I don't know why I had to see you and now I'm feeling so uh, pessimistic. He started to laugh at me. Uh, like this man is really like, uh, he's a little fat and he's uh, very, very introvert, very philosophical. He's like a genius, but unfortunately, genius mostly, they tend to think too much. They are the deep thinkers. Hence, they, they have tendency to be crazy because they think too much. And this guy was, I will say that, he's a very deep thinker. And I said, you know what, after I go back home, I will kill myself after all this talk. He started to laugh. I, it kind of made me happy because uh, seeing him happy made me happy. Uh, but at the same time, it's, he, 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 although I knew what he all was talking about, but still, he reminded me all these things that I every day do. And I'm still, like, I'm kind of happy that he reminded me of these things because sometimes there are so many things that I also lie to myself, such as I'm not really motivated these days, but I force myself to be motivated. Maybe this is a good thing, I don't know. But sometimes I just, why don't, why don't I just lie down and do nothing instead of forcing myself? Yeah. I don't even know why I'm talking all this, but I think he kind of reminded me that I should listen to myself. I should listen. I should really be honest to my body. I should really be honest to my feelings. I should be really honest to myself first, and I should be honest to other people, other beings. Only then I think I can be happy.